and he's whispering and I'm like, what is, you know, what's wrong? And he's just like, we're on lockdown. There's a, um, a sh someone here with the gun. Happy Sunday. It's raining in Florida. I'm headed to go see my cousin, um, my aunt that passed away that I said about in the prior video, which that'll be up hopefully tonight. I'm trying to, I need to finish editing it. Editing it. <laughs> um, I didn't vlog earlier or anything else today. We had track practice. Um, and I'm going to go head over to see them and the family. Um, they are here in Florida. So, your girl is tired. I look rough. My husband's like, well, you look tired. I was like, really? Like, I didn't get out of bed till noon because I was in so much pain from everything that I overdid yesterday. Even though, from clerking, all I did was sit there. But, anyway, it's been... No, it's stopping rain. Thank Jesus. Because I got to go get bags of ice. She needed a couple bags of ice um, for the coolers and stuff. So I told her I would pick it up. Before I knew, didn't, before I realized that my husband was not going to go. So I'm going to go to one of those ice machines and it's close to the house. Um, I think they're about 10, 15 minutes away where they live. Um, but I think it's supposed to start storming too. Like today, like we had practice, but we left probably 15, 20 minutes early because of the rain. We had to get a mock meet in so the kids wouldn't be afraid um, when they get to the track meet on Saturday. So it was a success. It started raining like right as they were finishing, but it did not like it wasn't lightning or anything like that. So, um, good parent participation, super, super excited about that. Um, and, and we just realizing that they just need the guidance and if we show them what to do, that they'll be happy to do it. So, um, yeah. Um, I have to go meet our person doing, the parent doing the other t-shirts. They did not finish because they were supposed to have them, um, today. And, um she didn't get finished in time for before practice was over and they live about 45 minutes away when they drive to practice if not close to an hour or something I think it's an hour so I just told I would meet her in my area like well in the middle point tomorrow to pick up the shirts so that means now I have to sort them of course and package them for all the athletes because today I had a list that I was just gonna like count real quick and then pull out the shirts that everyone needs that didn't happen so um yeah but if you've ever done team sports or as like a team mom or anything with your kids give me some good inventory um ideas of how to better keep up with your inventory I created a list um which I believe will work last year I didn't do it this way and I pretty much did like a little spreadsheet where it puts like hey number of order when we ordered them when we received them and the amount we received like counting them to make sure they're right because that happened last year where we didn't count to make sure everything was there um, and then I put a column for like the amount we have to disperse and then what's left and then right under it starts back over again. So like, cause we have to do several orders. 
so I was thinking like that way would be easy so I can see like hey this is what's left this is what we need to order the next time around or whatever so but if you have a different method let me know because I'm open to suggestions my son did not play sports he played alright guys so my cousin she texted and said she had to leave their house but she, she would be right back so I'm hoping people are there so I was like well I just got the ice and I'm on my way there so I don't know um, I don't know if it's because of all these headaches I've been having for the last couple weeks, but my vision has changed. I'm supposed to wear glasses, but for the most part, like, I really don't feel like I need them, need them. Um, but, like, my vision is, like, blurred. We were watching TV, and I was just like, man, everything is, like, really, really blurry. And, um, it's something about, like, right when it's getting dark like I have the worst time trying to see I feel like everything glares off of the street still I don't know what the deal is but I guess if it continues I need to go to the eye doctor um, to get that checked out so yeah just give you guys a little update and I'll come back after I'm done I'm not gonna be over here for probably like 30 minutes to an hour like unless she really needs help with a lot of stuff like I just don't feel good um, my husband's like you can't just say the lupus card i'm like it's somebody that died and no i'm not gonna use my lupus like i always have to cancel stuff because of my lupus or i can't help do stuff because of my lupus so no i'm not gonna use the lupus card <laughs> so yeah but i will come back guys all right guys so i'm headed back home it's 10 o'clock y'all 10 o'clock i'm tired um so i'm going to go back tomorrow afternoon to help my cousin and um i'm going to she wanted me to make some spaghetti so i told her i would cook some spaghetti and um uh, so i guess i'll try to get everything tomorrow um I'll probably just do the meat and everything and just get the you know do the pasta when I get to her house yeah that's what I'm gonna do is make her some spaghetti she's pretty stressed um, and I know what she's going through I went through it I lost my dad when I was 22 and my mom when I was 25 so I totally know what she's going through um, and I don't know any if it's ever any easier if you have parents that are super older or you know what I'm saying like I just feel like losing a parent is losing a parent um so I just I always tell people you know be thankful for their parents that they could have time with them and share because tomorrow is not promised so I will be signing out. Just tell everyone to have a good night. And I love all of you guys. And have a blessed and wonderful night. Good morning, guys. It is Monday. Um, about 9.24. I'm headed to go meet the track parent that's doing our shirts. To pick up the thing. Um just dragging it's like counting down to Wednesday um, so I was hoping my husband because I thought he was taking Easter to school but she rode the bus so I'm just so miserable and he has to get the athletes put in the system for the track meet for Saturday there's like an online database that AU uses and each meet says okay you got to have your people in by this time so we were under the impression because most people close it at midnight um you know the day of the due date or whatever but this one is at noon so he couldn't go with me to get the shirt and um saying i'm so tired so then he's like well i need the list 
before I got ready, I was like, okay, I, you know, the list is in my little travel file or whatever. And then he was like, well, have you put these in AAU? I was like, no, I have not entered them in AAU because it's two different websites. And I'm like, we just had practice yesterday and people just paid me yesterday. So, no, I did not magically put them in. Where did I put them in? I'm just saying. So, I'm just like, Lord, give me strength. So, then the parent was like, she was running behind because it's like extremely foggy. So, I was like, okay, well, that gives me time, 15 minutes. And then, I don't know. I'm just tired and I get cranky so what I'm gonna do after I meet her I'm gonna go to Walmart by her house yeah I'm just like really I'm just like pooped really pooped and I'm just trying to do better that I can get a lot of stuff done before my infusion even though I'm like wiped out um like I will be trying to meal prep like some salads that I can grab some stock up on some fruit so we'll probably go grocery shopping tomorrow if not later on this afternoon my husband's just I know he's he's very tired he's, he's doing a whole lot the housekeepers are coming Thursday and I don't know for the life of me why I continue to schedule that the day after my infusion I, I don't ever understand myself like I don't think about it I think and then I'll be like oh because it's like if he's not there when they come at 11 then I have to be there to get up well you got to get up anyway when they're in the room to clean so it's just stuff he wants cleaned and I'm like well you know what if you want your dresser clean you need to clean it off because you know he just puts all of his change on one of his dresses and I'm like you don't want folks like touching your stuff you need to organize it so yeah it's just been one of those uh, one of those things and I'm gonna go give me some breakfast I gotta eat something um so like my neuropathy was like <sighs> heck I wish you stop right there was on um 10 it started really bad Saturday and I just figured like well hey because the track meet or whatever I was just you know my feet were just inflamed but yesterday was so bad so i had to start back the amitriptyline which is miserable to like to take it i get urinary issues but it works to get rid of the neuropathy and i actually get a good night's sleep so i don't know So the shirts look really really good they made some changes from the first order that we got so we're super excited so guys i'm back i'm home i just got a call from my son um my phone kept ringing i was in the shower and um i was like dang who's that keep calling back to back so i got out and it was my son and he's at school and he's whispering and I'm like, what is, you know, what's wrong? And he's just like, we're on lockdown. There's a, um, a sh someone here with a gun, a student. Um, it's not like an act. They're not shooting or no shots have been fired. But he said they've been in their class for over an hour. Um, so I called his dad because he told his dad first. And his dad was like, well, I don't know anything other than, you know, the school is locked down and the police and SWAT team and stuff are there. Um, but I just know that there, no one's been shot or anything. So I'm like, you know, praying, you know, calling my prayer partners for them to touch and agree that everything will be safe. But these school shootings and kids getting to come to school with guns, because I think my son said they just got a metal detector. So I don't know if it's in, if it's working or, or what, I, I don't know. And he's in Richmond, so... Hey guys, so we are say hello. Say hi. Y'all pray for my wife's side of the family, please. Because they got some real issues. Some families in America got real issues. But her side of the family. Oh, her, that ain't your side? No, I don't know that. You act like them folks. Oh, really? <laughs> Devil is a lie. So we just got back from I cooked spaghetti for my cousin um on the and it was my good. Aunt. Everybody was eating. Yeah. 
that my auntie passed away. So that was what she requested was some spaghetti. Um, Not her auntie though. Her auntie didn't request it. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't even stop. That's that is not right. Okay, my cousin stuff. requested me to cook spaghetti, not my auntie that passed away. Okay, now we got that straight. Jeez. So I'm coming back to update you guys. Everything was okay at my son's school. They finally got off lockdown and they let him home early. Um, they did not retrieve the person or whatever that had the gun or or the gun. And my son said what happens normally like they have metal detectors and the doors are locked um from that like from the outside but what happens kids will let kids in like just opening the door from the inside for them and um he said that he said he thinks that person whoever it could have been just left before the cops actually like all those cops made it there he said because last week some teenagers from norfolk virginia um, drove an hour to get to their school. So one of the kids let them in, and they beat some girl like really bad and got arrested. So I'm just like, Lord, just parents have to pray over their kids, keep them covered in the blood, because it is crazy. It is so crazy. So he's gonna be out of school for the next two weeks off of mental anguish. <laughs> I know it was he, like, he, it's like, Mom, <laughs> I don't, you know, it was just. I'm not, I don't think I'm going tomorrow. I'm not feeling it. <laughs> and I ain't even say nothing because I'm like, oh, I don't blame you because this is just ridiculous. Ridiculous. So, yeah. But that is all. We're about to go to his house and I'm about to lay back down. I have a headache again. And I thought eating would help. I had something with chocolate, and that didn't help. So, yeah. So, I'm going to go home and uh, excuse me, take um, a few or set, maybe. I'm not sure. But, talk to you guys later.